Did you know that there is a very simple way that most people can reduce their knee pain by at least 50%? Well, this video is gonna show you exactly what that way is and how you can use it at home. Hi everybody, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be giving you one simple trick that you can use to reduce your knee pain by about 50%. Now, before we dive into the content of the video, if you haven't already, please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel using the little button in the bottom right of your screen, because then you'll be the first to hear about our new knee pain videos when they come out. And if you're enjoying this channel, then please consider sharing it with a friend or a family member who uh, might benefit from the content because then they will um, get some help for their painful problem and you'll help us to grow as well. So I'll be really grateful if you do that. Now that that's been said, let's talk about this simple trick that can reduce knee pain. <clears throat> and the reason I've said that this can help most people by about 50% is that I reckon on average about 50% of people with knee pain will benefit from this problem. And the people who benefit, it usually reduces their pain by at least a half if it's done consistently. And it's a very, very simple thing you can do before you exercise, before you walk, before you go out and about, or before you do any of the things that normally trigger your knee pain. So I'm going to explain how it works first and I'll show you what it is. So the thing I'm going to show you how to do is called glute priming. And glute priming is basically a type of exercise that we can use to wake up some of the muscles in the hips. And you might be thinking, well, why would we be using the hips if it's the knee that's the problem? And the reason is that the muscles in the hips, the gluteal muscles, which live at the top of the hip, they control the alignment of your thigh bones. We call that the femur. And if the glutes aren't working very well, when we walk, when we run, when we go up and down stairs or hills, what we get is a little bit of movement of the femur where the thigh bone crosses inwards. Now what this can do is it can put an immense amount of pressure on both the inside of the knee and the patella, which is the kneecap. So if you're suffering from pain that's on the inside of the knee or you're suffering from pain at the front of the knee, this kind of routine can really, really help you. So for people who have muscles in the hips that aren't working very well, what we tend to find is they're very weak when we test their glutes. And when their glutes are weak, it means that basically they're not activating at the right time. So these people can have quite strong muscles in their legs, but at the top of their leg, in their hips, they're very, very weak. And that means they have poor control over their thigh bone, and that means their knee is put under immense stress. Now to fix this, what we can do is a few exercises before we go out and we do something active that wakes up those sleepy muscles in the glutes, gets them working, and basically builds up what we call a mind-muscle connection to that area of the body, which means they work better when you're exercising. And what we tend to find is that once the glutes are firing a bit better, these people have better control over their thigh bone and they have less knee pain as a result. So this is a very simple thing that you can do if you have knee pain. It's worth a try. For most people, it's not going to do anything harmful at all. It's going to help those muscles work better. And this works. And one of the reasons we've, um, we've proven that this works is through research in sport. There was a research paper that came out a couple of years ago in professional football, and it showed that athletes and uh, teams that did glute priming before they played a football game or before they trained had a huge reduction in the rate of knee injuries across a whole season. So that's been quantified, it's been proven. And if you go and watch a Premier League football game now and you go and watch the players warm up before, what you'll see is they're putting bands around their legs and they're opening their legs and closing them. And a lot of these exercises are designed to wake up the glutes because that reduces the rate of injury. And not only does it reduce rate of injury, it also helps to fix problems once they're there. So now that all that's been said, let's have a look at how we use glute priming to reduce knee pain, and you can have a go at this at home. So now we're gonna talk about a simple way that you can prime the glutes before you start exercising. So the glute muscles that we're talking about are these muscles in the hips here. And 
they sit just beneath the line of the belt. So if you want to feel where they are, you find your belt and you just go about an inch or two below. And there's two names for these muscles. We call them the gluteus medius, and the other one is called the gluteus minimus. You've also got your gluteus maximus, which is a bit lower down. That's the bulk of the buttock, really. But the ones we're interested in, the ones that control the alignment of your leg, are the medius and the minimus, which are a little bit higher up. So these are the muscles we need to wake up, because often they can be sleepy. We call them sleepy glutes. And then when they're not working well, we tend to get this kind of movement. The knee rolls inwards, and there's a lot of pressure on the knee. Luckily, it's very easy to wake them up. You just need to know how. So what these exercises are designed to do, or when you're designed to do them, is just before you do some other exercise. So if you're about to go for a walk, the ideal time to do these is about one minute before you set off, and it will keep your glutes primed for at least an hour, and it will keep your knees safer. So there's a few different things we can do to prime the glutes. I'm just gonna demonstrate, and you can take this through as a routine at home, as long as it's safe for you individually to do so. So make sure you get checked out first. So I'm gonna show you on the left side. So what you would do is just find something to hold on to. You can use a wall if you wish, or you could hold on to your kitchen worktop, and you're gonna stand just on one leg. You're gonna keep your back up nice and straight, and the first thing we're gonna do is keeping our back straight, we're just gonna take our leg out to the side and slightly behind, like this. And what we should feel if we're doing this correctly is these muscles here, just beneath the belt line, starting to switch on. Now, after we've done a couple of those, you'll feel that those muscles are starting to work a bit. So the next thing we might do is take the leg slightly behind. So again, it's a bit of a diagonal, slightly behind and out to the side, and this works the same muscles, just in a slightly different way. And now, interestingly, what I could also feel when I'm doing this is that this side is having to work as well, because this is the side that's keeping the pelvis level while I'm standing on one leg, which means that both sides benefit. Now, in practice, you'll be, you'll be doing both sides. So once you've done a, a set of 15 or 20 on one side, you change. Again, we keep the spine straight, we start going behind, and then we also do some going like this, so out to the side and behind too. We just wanna feel this area firing up. Now, if you've done that and you find that it helps, but after a while you get too strong and you're struggling to feel that these are activating anymore, you can do the same thing, but with a band. So I'd have you find a, a thin band where I've got the yellow coated ones, which are the lightest bands we have here, and this will be absolutely perfect. And what we would do is we slip it around our feet, have it just about ankle heights like this, and we get back to the position we were in before. And now we're doing the same thing into the band. Now we wanna make sure that our back is not doing too much work. It's this bit here that should be working, so not this. You can put your hand on it to check and make sure it's not tensing up. And we want this area to be doing the work. Now, once you've done some of those, you can also do the same thing going out behind like this. And if you find that that's useful, you might also find that you can make things a bit more challenging. So one way we can make it more challenging is to do a type of exercise that I call an around the world. And what you would do with your band on is you stand holding onto something, rock onto one leg, take the leg out in front, and then bring the leg all the way out and round, and then back. And you'll get the full spectrum of glute work happening there. And then you go to the other leg, out in front, all the way out to the side and behind, just trying to keep your back upright, and do a few of those. And now the goal here is not to completely knacker yourself out, but to finish the set with this area around here aching a bit, as if you've just worked it. So we want it to feel a bit tired, we want it to feel a bit fatigued, and once you've got to that point, you know your glutes are primed and ready to go. Give that a try at home before your next hike or before your next long walk, and see if that improves your knee pain. So that's the one simple trick that you can use to reduce knee pain by 50%. As I said in the video, if it's suitable for you to do these exercises, you can do them before you go out and you 
um, walk or you climb hills or you hike or you run and it should lead to a reduced rate of knee pain. Anyway, that's all I had to say for you today. I hope that video has been useful. If it has and if this technique worked, please leave a comment below. And if you want to get more from me, please feel free to pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below this video. It's perfect for people over 50 who want to maintain their mobility and their health in their 50s and beyond. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching. I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.